Good morning, everyone, and happy Flossmas. This is Artie, the Vintage Stitcher, and today is a Monday, November 29th. Oh my God, November flew by. I just can't even believe how fast it went, and I'm looking at the December calendar going, how am I gonna fit everything in? Um, there's lots of plans for December. I want to do, of course I want to do everything. Um, <clears throat> I have a craft show coming up this coming Saturday. So that's gonna be a fun day out. Um, my husband and I have never, we we planned a trip in December. We have never ever done that before because I've always been so freakishly in control of everything. <laughs> like there's always so much to be done. And you know, when we had five kids living at home and stuff like that, you just didn't just up and take a vacation. This is our first year with zero kids living here. Um, my mother-in-law is in Georgia. All we really have is the dog. Um, and my dog can go stay with my my son and his family um, because the babies love, love having her and stuff like that and she loves going there. So we are planning a, uh, like a quick, it's gonna be like five day vacation. And we are going um, out of town and going to celebrate, not Christmas, but go somewhere else and kind of do like the traditional Hallmark Christmassy things in a different town, somewhere else. <laughs> not that our town isn't cute and wonderful and stuff like that, but we just wanna get out of town, get away, spend some time alone, do some Christmas shopping, um, just relax and do stuff like that. So we are gonna be doing that um, in December. I think we're leaving like the 9th of December. I'm actually like put in for time off of work for a vacation, which I very, very rarely do. And my boss was like in total shock when I said, can I have this day off? I'm only taking one day off. My husband's taking a few days off. Um, so that's pretty exciting. <laughs> I mean, we go a lot. We go on vacations and we go and do things, um, but we've never gone at Christmas time before. So it, it should be different. It should be exciting. Um, and I'm just got to relax and just go with it. And everything will get done. And it'll just be great. And it's, it's going to be nice to spend some time alone with just him. So I'm sure I'll do some filming throughout that. Um, excuse the itchy nose. It's super dry in here. Once the snow falls, like the humidity in the house just like plummets. And it's like a desert. So everything's itchy and scratchy. So so that's our plans for December. And then the normal, um, hang on one second here. Sorry, had to blow the nose. So then the normal holidays and we have birthdays in December. We have lots and lots of birthdays in December. So we have lots of family gatherings in December. It's going to be a great month. And I really hope that all of you are looking forward to your holiday season and your traditions and your your family time and your crafting time and whatever you do in, in during the month of December and even into January. Um, we have a lot going on. It doesn't really get dull drum around here until like mid-January. So I am gonna jump in. I got a lot of crafting done this weekend. I've got the rest of my ornaments finished, all of them. My pile of ornaments from my Christmas ornament challenge are done. They are all FFO'd. Um, I got them all done this weekend. So I wanted, I was pretty excited to show you. I did have a, a new little start. I got some more work done on my farmhouse Christmas. Um, I have uh, one little piece of haul that came in the mail. It was on a back order and I, I got that over the weekend. And I have a giveaway winner for the part, part six part six of the farmhouse Christmas and we will be giving away part seven in the next video. I'm gonna be giving these away until they're gone. Um, we are really close to 5,000 subscribers. So I am super close. I'm hoping to reach that before the end of the year and we can have a huge 5,000 subscriber celebration. I'm starting to pull some really great prizes. My mom did make something extra special for the 5,000 subscriber mark. Um, I've got some fun stuff in the giveaway basket. I ordered in a few things. Um, it's going to be great. So if you um, 
are new here and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. I'm kind of all over the board when it comes to, to my schedule. I film when I can and I post when I can. So that notification bell is going to be your best bet as to when, um, when I'm up and running. Wintertime, I'm a little bit more on a schedule, but you know, other than that, I'm just kind of all over the place. Um, if you've been watching for a while and you haven't subscribed yet and you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps with the algorithm. It tells them that you, you like watching my videos, pushes it out a little bit further, tells um, YouTube, that, YouTube that I'm putting out a good product for all of you and um, that just helps me along a little bit more. So 5,000 subscribers is in the near, near future and I cannot thank you all enough. Um, you guys are the greatest viewers in the whole wide world. I love each and every one of you. I love reading your comments. I have I have connected with so many people through YouTube. Um, I was doing my Christmas cards this weekend. My husband's like, who's that? And I'm like, that's my friend. He's like, how come I've never heard of that person before? That's my YouTube friend. That's my friend. <laughs> Don't judge. Those are my friends. And I'm sending Christmas cards. And he's like, okay. So I have all sorts of packages. They're back on the table. I have all sorts of packages that are going out, Christmas cards that are going out to all my friends out in the world <laughs> today. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. So um, to all my friends, thank you so much for everything you have done. Um throughout this year, uh, my YouTube channel would not be where it is without you guys. I absolutely love it. It's been bumpy, lots of changes, lots of different styles to see what works, um, what doesn't work. We're kind of all over the place, but um, we're getting there and it's been a lot of fun. So I appreciate all of you and um, I love you all. So on with the stitching. <clears throat> oh, one more shout out. Everybody who has used the Buy Me A Coffee link, I, I cannot thank you enough. The list is so long right now. Um, I can't even go through the names. I can't even shout you out by names because the list is so long. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, it is going to really help. I'm looking at cute little greeting cards and little packages and all sorts of stuff that I can do for Happy Meal giveaways for next year. And it helps with postage and it helps. Um, I like to be able to ship internationally so that everybody feels like they're part of the community and not excluded from um, from the Happy Meal thing that we have going here on this channel. So thank you, thank you, thank you. If you have donated to the Buy Me A Coffee link in the description below, it is so appreciated. Okay, so my farmhouse Christmas, I have been, I'm gonna cover up my little block. I've been working on block number two, which is super cute. These stitch up pretty fast. I, I'm pretty amazed at how quick they they stitch up. Um, we did have more family time over the weekend, so I did not um, get a ton of it done. But I am this far on my block too. And this was just, you know, puts in with it one or two evenings. So my block one is done, block two, and I just have this upper part to do. Um, I just wasn't feeling it last night. Oh, I'm working on mine. Um, somebody asked me, it's a 28 count even weave. It's a mushroom color. I think it's just the even weave mushroom that comes from like Hobby Lobby or Joanne Fabrics, the uh, C.W. Charles or whatever it's called. Um, I th that's one of my favorite brands of fabric. I really do it. It's soft. It's ready to go. It's, it's nice. It's nice, even stitching. Um, so this is just 28 count, even weave in mushroom. Um, I'm using all the called for DMC flosses. There's really only like two, four, eight, eight colors in this whole thing. And then there's like a little random one for like his face, like for the peach and stuff like that. So there's little random colors in there, whatever, um, but nothing too exciting. So this is where I am at on um, on block two of Farmhouse Christmas. These are fun. These are super fun. Um, I have a feeling this is going to be one that I throw on my tote bag and bring to work with me for my lunch hour stitches. Um, I haven't been doing lunch hour stitches lately. I've been trying to run errands and do shopping and stuff like that. Um, 
but now that the stores are just too too busy, too packed, I don't, yeah. Ugh. Shopping is not my thing. Um, I have to go grocery shopping today. Yikes. Then the other thing I started was, it's a freebie from Plum Street Samplers, and it's called Oh Holy Night. And I don't have, like, the color picture of it. I had just, I had printed it off years ago. It's from 2016. I'm going to kind of just put my hand up over it. It's like a little house like this, and it says, The Soul Felt Its Worth. And it's got, like, the little, like, um peach color house and it's got snowflakes and it's got a little lamb and it's really really super cute if you want to look it up online it's still out there available for free um on plum street sample you can still find it out online it's super cute super super cute and i had that in my stash and i was like i just want like a little small with just a few colors and so i just grabbed a quick piece of linen it's just like kind of a raw colored linen. I think it's a 36 count. And the floss is for it. I had all the DMCs in my stash. You didn't have to order anything. And I was able to just pop it together, throw it in a hoop. And I started the words last night. <clears throat> so I did the words last night. And I'll get into the, like the little fun stuff. Um, all the snowflakes and, and stuff are done in white. I am thinking because the house is kind of done in like a peachy color. It's done in 407, which is this peach color. I might change my snowflakes to like a, a blue, like a bright, not, not a bright blue, but like a crisp snowflakey blue, <laughs> crystally blue. There's a couple of really pretty DMC color blues that would really stand out and I think that would be much prettier because it's kind of a brighter brighter piece um so stay tuned for that I'm really thinking because I don't think my it's calling for ecru and I don't think my snowflakes are going to stand out so I think I'm going to do them in blue I think that'll be really a nice little change so I started that <clears throat> so that is my stitching for the weekend well since Friday but I spent a lot a lot of time in my sewing room this weekend so let me get let me get a little situated here so all those little dark dark ornaments that I made and I said oh, I'm not sure how I'm gonna finish them I thought I'm just gonna put them into something I'm just gonna do something with them and I am going to love them and all I did with them was I made just little like pin keeps with them just and I'll tuck them into greenery or I'll tuck them into a basket and nothing fancy I didn't overstuff them I just stuffed them and I had this cute little piece of plaid one of the viewer one of my viewers sent me some homespun fabrics um and I, it fit it suited it perfectly so here's the little star how cute is that here's the little joy same thing, nothing fancy, no trims, no nothing, just very primitive and plain. You don't always need fluff. Don't always need fluff. Sometimes just basic looks good. <clears throat> and I've got to remember, not all pieces need to be big. Um, you know, I watch like Daisy K Primitives and I look at her decorating and I think, oh, I love all her little smalls all over her house and it's like I need to make some of those <laughs> and why I don't sit down and just make some of those little smalls so for tuck-ins all over I don't know um I'm always concentrating on these big huge projects that I really don't have the wall space for but I make them so these are going to be perfect for like those little baskets or those little tuck-ins and stuff like that and then the little tree I did the same thing now this can stay out all year I, I'm very rustic and kind of primitive, and I just did the same thing. So all three of them were finished the same way. And I absolutely love how they turned out. So it was just kind of, I needed to take some time and think about, I needed to take a breath and figure out how I wanted to finish them and how I wanted them to look. And then once I kind of got on a roll this weekend, 
It's like, that's what I want to do. And that's, and they turned out so super cute. So I'm really pleased with those. So I did those. Um, this one is one that um, I rescued. At the same time I rescued my Noel pattern that I had back there. It was a St. Vincent de Paul rescue. It was kind of all in a pattern or all in a big baggie with some fabric. And um, I had it mounted on sticky board for a while, but I couldn't find the right mount for it. And again, I just finished it into a long pillow. And sometimes you just need things with some height in your decorating. I was like, hmm. So I finished this one into a long pillow like that. And remember, I stitched this one. This was, I think, a Plum Street sampler out of the um, ornament magazine. So I stitched, I just stitched them up with cute little gingham fabric on the back. And those can get tucked in, you know, onto a shelf or in a basket. Someplace where you need a little height. Something, and I'm always height challenged in my decorating. I tend to buy everything kind of balanced. And then I'm, I'm putting things up on bookshelf or like books or risers or stuff like that to get that height. So I thought, how cute would that be? And now these will stay out all winter. These will come out all winter because this is just snowflakes and house and trees and this is kind of my winter theme. And this one's just cute. I like it. So I finished those. Again, one of, this is one of the um, JBW designs, the little hearts. Remember the other one I went like that? <laughs> this one I did like this. This, again, just a little tuck-in pillow. And how cute would that be in a little gift? You know, like even a little, like a girl's gift. When you tuck in like the little candles and the, you know, the lotions and stuff like that. Just to tuck in like a little tuck in kind of stitch thing um, that they can tuck into their greenery or on their shelf or in their baskets. Stuff like that. So that was that one. And I loved, loved how this one turned out. Um... Now these, these were challenging for me because what happened was I mounted them to foam board. I mounted and I was going to do flat folds with them, but I didn't have like sticky board, the thin sticky board where it was two thin pieces together. I had a foam board and it was two thick puffy pieces together. So when I put them together, there was this huge, there was a really big gap between them. And I really did not like, so I couldn't put anything like delicate, like in between, because it just kind of looked funny. Um, so what I did was I went into my stash of like upholstery trims. And I pulled from there because they're a little chunkier, a little, a little thicker. And they would cover up that, see, they would cover up that gap better. So this is how I finish these. These are just flat folds. And this is just upholstery trim. And just with a little bowl. And I just covered, you know, just a little hanger. So they're just flat fold trims. So at first I thought, oh, that looks way too big for the size of the the ornament but I really like it it really adds a nice finish it covers up it covers up that area where I was not pleased with it gives it a real finished look and I just had little snowflakes on the back and I think it just turned out adorable this again was another JBW design um, her patterns are awesome for ornaments I have big ones small ones of hers I did it on all different size fabrics with all different color threads I so highly recommend, if you are new here, you will know that I am like the biggest JBW fan, um, designs fan out there. She has sent me, she has been so generous. She sent me all three of her ornament books. They are a great investment because these are like this little one, this little one, I stitched twice. I didn't even realize it because it's so much fun to stitch. I stitched it twice. I stitched it in two different color threads on different fabrics, got totally different looks out of it. Um, they're so much fun to stitch and they're just a blast. They're just a blast. So definitely look at how cute they turn out. 
And a lot of these I made so that I could give them away as gifts. These were quick little stitches, quick little finishes that I could just give away as gifts. So again, these, these next two are JBW design also. Um, and I had the same problem as this one is my space was too, was too thick. So I went into my upholstery trim, pulled out something a little thicker and just finished it off that way. And look how nice. Nice to come. And it was a little clumpy at the top. So the back, I just put a button. My glue is really messy. This one might have to stay home. <laughs> this one might not be good enough to give as a gift. And my, my glue is clumpy. Put a little button there. And then um, my glue is clumpy there. So I just put a little jingle bell. A little jingle bell. And then a nice little bow. But this is a mitten. And I absolutely love this one too. Look how cute that is. This one has gingham on the back with upholstery trim. So never dismiss like when you're at Hobby Lobby or John Fabrics or even Walmart or whatever, um, upholstery trims. They come very handy, especially if you're making like larger pillows. Instead of trying to double up or triple up your, your small trims, um, upholstery trim is great is great and you really don't need much and it's relatively cheap it's usually under like 20 cents a yard I mean it's super super cheap so and then I did the same thing with this one the little tree and I put some bells jingle bells at the top lots of ribbon upholstery trim this one has little black and white buffalo check these are all just little scraps of material I pull from my scrap bag. All the board was stuff I had in in the in my house. Um, it was sticky board, foam board, um, board from Dollar Tree. Like I said, I also used mat board that I had. I'm kind of in the mood. I have to rearrange my my bedrooms at this point. Um, so my my sewing room is going to be moved into the smaller room. I really need to use some stuff up. So I needed to like go through and use up things. So um, I needed to minimize my sewing room a little bit. So I've been just using things that I have in my sewing room. <coughs> Coffee up everyone. All right, my next finish. My little snowman, JBW Designs. This one was done on a 14 count Ada. So he's a little bit bigger. I double mounted this on a piece of fabric, put some rickrack in there, some trim on the edge because this back, I wanted this, this was a piece of mat board. <clears throat> and I wanted this to be the backing because it's like a, a velvet backing, super cute. I got, I got glue everywhere. Um, so I didn't want to wrap it in fabric. So all I did was I Mod Podged the fabric to the ugly side of the board so that I could use the back side as the backing and the pretty side. Mod Podge is your friend. And then to cover up that raw edge, I just put some piping, some piping on that to cover up that raw edge, or you could have done like chalk paint or something or a marker or whatever you wanted to kind of cover up that raw edge finish. Some rickrack, bow, little hanging string. Look how adorable that is. Look how adorable. Love it, love it, love it. And this is all from stuff in my home. Love that snowman. He will be getting stitched again because he was super fun. This one, <clears throat> remember the little piece? This is stitched or this is mounted to one of those $1 um, tag ornaments from the Dollar Tree or Dollar Store. One of the wooden ones that I painted with chalk paint. Mounted, this is mat board that looks like linen. Just mounted to that, a little bit of trim. These are green, so I thought the um, bright green and the linen bow looked super cute. A little bit different colors. I thought that was so sweet. I love this one, this one too. Okay, so here's another absolute favorite. <clears throat> 
Here's another one I'm having a hard time. I'm having a hard time giving away a couple of gifts. So I might be keeping a couple of things. Um, I did gift the basket one to a very special person. It's not my mom. To a very, very special person. And um, I can't disclose who that is right now. But you'll 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 see in the future, in the future, probably before Christmas is out, you will probably see who who it got gifted to. Super special person. Um, but this is like one of my absolute favorite. So this was out of the or one of the ornament magazines. It was a triangle ornament. <clears throat> and I love how um, Liz Matthews does the little triangle ornaments and she does them on the little stands. So I wanted to try something like that. So I stitched it, and what I found, and I'm going to turn this around so you're going to see the back. I found this glass candle holder, and it was a clear glass candle holder. I found it at a thrift store for a quarter. I chalk painted it. Get all fuzz off there. I chalk painted it black because chalk paint will stick to glass. I chalk painted it glass to look, make it look very kind of rustic and primitive. And then you'll see in there, let me see if I can get a better look. I just took a dowel stick and stuck the dowel stick all the way into the top, glued it into the, um, into the base of the, into the base of the candlestick with just a little piece of like floral foam and I hot glued it all in there and then added my bow and my floral arrangements. And look how adorable that is. I love how this turned out. This is so super cute. This one is going to my mom and I'm gonna show you how I'm going to gift it, okay? So, <clears throat> you know me, I'm a thrift queen. I found this tray. These were at Dollar General and they had a really ugly like fork and spoon print in there. It was really ugly. All I did was, my, mom's, my mom lives in a log cabin. So I Mod Podged a piece of scrap paper, scrap paper in the bottom, Mod Podged in there, sealed it really good. This is kind of a print. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give her this, this little tray. I'm gonna put this in there. And then they have these cute little jars. I'm gonna put this in there. I'm gonna fill this with their favorite candy and then I'm going to put some Christmas napkins in there so I'm going to go get some candy their favorite candies today probably M&Ms or something to like that and I'm going to fill that up and then she can I'm going to put because it has a little truck on the back too but these are just a dollar and I'm going to put their favorite holiday napkins some cute holiday napkins in there and this is how I'm going to gift this to my mom she is going to love this this is and because she doesn't decorate for Christmas, but she does decor. She does decorate kind of woodsy and and stuff like that. So she will leave this on her kitchen island probably all year. She loves trees. She loves greenery. She loves deer. She loves, you know, and it's she loves the plaid. She loves all of that. So this is going to look super cute on her island, and she's going to love the fact that it was homemade. So this is what I am giving my mom for Christmas. She doesn't watch my videos, so I'm not worried about her knowing. <laughs> so I know some of her friends watch my videos, so don't tell her. <laughs> so, but um, this is what she is getting for Christmas. And she always says, don't spend a ton of money on me. You know, she thinks we're broke. She still thinks we're her children and, you know, we're still living on spaghetti noodles and meatballs and stuff like that. Don't spend a ton of money on me. Don't buy me anything for Christmas. We have everything, which she does. Um, but I still like to give her a little something and she loves homemade gifts. So this is what I'm going to gift her. So that, I, I absolutely love that. And I will do something like this for myself again. So when you are at the thrift stores, watch for these cute little candlesticks like this. They're so primitive and they're so super cute. Um, love it. Love it, love it, love it. That's all I have for my finishes for this weekend. I was, uh, Busy, busy little girl. Um, <laughs> I don't know now how much I'll get done for the rest of the week because I do have to work in the next couple days. I have to, today I have off. Um, 
I have to work Tuesday and Wednesday this week. And then I will be finishing up a few little things for the craft show. Um, but I'm hoping to get some stitching time in there. All right. My one little piece of haul. I thought it was so cute because I don't have a lot of winter stitching. I have lots of Christmas stuff, but I don't have a lot of winter stitching. And I thought this was super cute. It's by Rov Rovaris. I've never heard of them before. And it's called Take Time to Chase the Snowflakes. How cute is that? So, and I was kidding up a few little winter freebie things that I, I downloaded yesterday. Um, and I, I came across this one. I was like, I got to show everybody that one. But I think I'm going to get this one kitted up too. And then um, it will be ready for stitching. So, that is about all I have. Let's do the giveaway of number six. Gail Post. You are the winner of this pattern, number six, Farmhouse Christmas. Um, it is called Pinewood Farm by Little House Needleworks. Message me your address to the email um, below, and um, I will get that off in the mail for you this week. This week is actually like a regular week, so I'll be able to... Uh, <laughs> ship things and get things off in the mail as a normal like a normal week um so gail post send this to me or i will send this to you how about that <laughs> send me your address and i will send this to you oh don't you love non-editing all right part seven is going to be up for grabs next um next video hopefully i'm going to do a video thursday or friday morning so make sure you comment because that's where I pull everything from. Make sure you comment, subscribe, um, do the notification bell, do a thumbs up, do all the things. Remember, we want to get to um, 5,000 subscribers because we want to have a, a party before the end of the year, a 5,000 subscriber party because I want to do lots and lots of giveaways. Um, so this is going up for grabs next video. All right. That is all I have for you guys this morning. As always, be thankful, be kind, spread love, find peace, and happy Flossmas, everyone.